day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Okay, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. You said when two or three are gathered in your name that you'll be in the midst of us. Father, there's two of us right now gathered in the name of Jesus. And we ask him, Father, just to, thank you, Lord. to anoint us, to, to, to get into your word and understand how the word of God can apply to our day, our life, our situation right now. We want to be able to have this father and, and, and this this message, this discussion, uh, be able to be transported uh, to to media's where where others can hear it and, and chew on it and, and and try to make sense of combining the word of God, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, with the social issues that we deal today, finding a victory because you said that. Then we will have trials and we'll have tribulations, but be a good cheer because Jesus has overcome the world. And, and we, we, we want to be part of that overcoming. And we ask, Lord, as we get into this word, to show us, give us some answers. People want to know, people want to know, what do we as a church deal with injustice in our society? I thank you for what you're about to do. We now submit to your will and your way. Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. 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 Like hey, bro, I tell you, to, uh, to uh, we Robert got, Carter. We got, we got Robert. Yo, to Robert Carter. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. hey. Uh, Pastor Taylor, how you doing? <laughs> All right, sir. How you doing? We well, all know each other already, huh? <laughs> amen, amen. Well, you know, you you came at the right time. All right, because we ready to get into the word. Uh, okay. And, and the word we're going to talk about, and he, you know, Robin will take his camera off, but that's okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. My battery is going down, and so I'm going to get my. Uh, uh, yeah, watch out, because we talk a long time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Elder, you yes, start. Sir. Elder, this is where this is where I'm coming from. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show these slides to you. Okay. I'm gonna share it so you can you can you you like you like to read them. Okay. Uh, you see him? Yeah, I see him. Okay. Now, now, what, what the title I put in there is, Jesus is the way to defeat social injustice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because the main thing is, we were sitting there uh, last week. You know, we we're talking about uh, confronting the police, and and my focus was to comply. And I was telling them the comply was, in fact, is, and they didn't like that. And I understand why, because they said is the two options they came up with was, was fight or flight. Mm. Fight or flight. And I came <laughs> with the uh, comply. And uh, I wanted to, I wanted to go more to that, Elder, concerning uh, why I said the, the, I, I, the compliance makes sense. And I'm talking about the whole piece of it. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to explain it, and then we can go into the scripture. The, when Jesus showed up, and they asked Jesus, when will the kingdom come? Uh, they were looking for a David. They were looking for a leader to, to rise up the nation to defeat the Roman Empire. That's right. They, so in other words, they want to use the flesh. Right? Uh -huh. that, that goes into either the fight or flight scenario. Uh, and and what, I, what I, I noticed was that uh, despite the issues that the society at that time, the Romans as well as the Sanhedrins, Jesus was making an impact, Elder, without the violence. Oh, yeah. He, 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 you know what I mean? In other words, you can still be resistant. Right. But it's more, I think you call it, especially if, if you're going to fight Mike Tyson, any one of y'all right now can go ahead and stand in the ring and fight Mike Tyson in his prime. 
uh, you, you, you don't, it'd be better if you could say, we don't need to fight because that, that ain't going, I'm not going to, it's not going to be pretty. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and, and it's not going to be pretty for me. Right? Uh -huh. In other words, you, you calculate the, the scenario, right? You count the cost. I think the other last week I was saying that you count the cost, right? right? And, right. and count the cost means, there was a scripture we used last week, Robert, where we were talking is that no man goes to war without counting count, the yeah. cost. The first count determine whether he can defeat somebody with 10,000 while the other person has 20,000. Mm -hmm. And if he, if he estimate that he can't beat that person, that, that country, then he'll go ahead and try to sue for peace. Mm -hmm. And it, it doesn't mean that the king is weak. The king is saying is right now, I just don't have enough to beat this joker. Maybe mm -hmm. it would work something else out. Okay? And so when we're talking about social injustice, dealing with the police and everything else, if you're fighting, you're going to be outnumbered. Because they're going to call in backup. The man already got a gun. So some of us are going to fight and don't show up with a... If you, you can't show up to a fight with one, one guy got a gun and you show up with nothing. That's not a fight. <laughs> that's, that's called a slaughter. You know what I mean? Uh, or if you have one gun and you got three guns against you or four guns against you, then it really is not going to accomplish it. Right? So what I wanted to talk about the other was the fact is that seeking you the kingdom first in God's way, but I also mm -hmm. want to use the most recent uh, scenario. We talked about it last week, Elder, was Martin Luther King non-violence approach opposed to, and, and Elder put out the fact that the Martin Luther King, I mean, Malcolm X was the alternative. So so he said Malcolm X was was needed to show, hey, we to go the non-violence way and telling society, you, you're either going to deal with us the non-violent way, or we can go with the Malcolm X way, which is more violent, right? right. Uh, but but my point, Elder, is that just like Jesus, these scriptures are going to talk about it. Malcolm, Martin Luther King made an impact doing it, the following the philosophies of Christ. <laughs> you know. To the mm -hmm. point of there's a lot of changes and civil rights movements, everything else came out of that approach. What what I'm saying is that it allows one of the same things that it allowed during that civil rights moment was when the police was putting out the water holes, putting the, the dogs on on the people, mm -hmm. beating with sticks and smoke, riding and gear and everything else. While, while they move non-violent, meaning the, the, the protests walked into all of that meat grinding, but they didn't fight. You know what I mean? Right. It, it made, it, 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 what I call that said is, it, it amplifies the, the, the injustice on the other side. Mm -hmm. Right? It, mm -hmm. it, it made them sit there and see the ugliness of their position mm -hmm. because what society even tried to do today when you talk about the protests and everything else if you sit there and listen to our, our president he focused on their terrorists their looters their other words he tried to define them mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he, he tried to label them and i'm gonna show you these scriptures that that's the same thing they did with Jesus. Now, I mean, we'll cover the scriptures. Yep. If we don't get to them, we'll talk about it anyway. We know that the, they try to call Jesus a sinner. Yep. I mean, I'm just, all right, that's it. They, yeah. they tried to call Jesus a sinner. Right. And I remember one scripture out of what Jesus said, what you, you can convict me of sin? <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. But yet, what my point was that they tried to label him as a sinner or as something strange or as something inappropriate in other words society the way society works is i got to put you in a package that puts you as the negative mm -hmm. amen mm -hmm. and, and elder since you brought it up i brought i'm going to the scripture that you brought out first last week last sunday 
but I'm bringing more too. I want you to read from 12 to, uh, I think it's, make sure. It's uh, verse 12, 17 through 19. And then, then uh, go into the uh, John. But first let's go with the 12 through, uh, what was it? 12 to 19. All right. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you. But rejoice, as much as you are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when he, <clears throat> when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If you be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are you, for the spirit of glory and of God rest upon you. Come on now. On their part, he is evil, spoken Come of. On. But on your part, he is glorified. Come on <laughs> now. Come on. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, Come as on. a thief, as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Come on. Yet if any man suffers as a Christian, Come on. let him not be ashamed. Well. But let him glorify God on this behalf. Yes, sir. I for well, the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Yes, sir. And if it first begins at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? Okay. And if the righteous scale is to be saved, well, where the ungodly and the sinners appear? Uh -huh. um, wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing. Yes. As unto a faithful creator. Come on now. Now, Ella, you, you brought the, last week you brought only 14, 15, and, or 14 and 15. So I brought these rest of the scriptures in there. Uh, the fact is, that even verse 19, he follows the signs that, wherefore, let them that suffer according to doing the will of God uh, commit to the keeping of their soul in him and doing well yeah. unto a faithful creator. Mm -hmm. In other words, what I'm trying to say is when I talk about the scripture, I'm saying we talked last week about compliance. <laughs> if you are bearing fruits of the spirit and, 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 and the enemy crucifies you, beat you up because you're following the will of God. If you're standing in the right path, even the civil rights movement was nonviolent. That is going in accordance with the will of God. The Man, enemy is good. the one that did the beating, the abusing. The enemy is the one that did the lynching. The enemy is the one that sit there and did the burning, the bombing. Bombing of two, four kids in the church because it showed the ugliness of them and God still got the glory in the end because it changed something. Yeah, right. You see what I'm saying is? If right. we do it God's way, there's something that's going to change. But I'm saying is we do it in the flesh way, we're not going to change. We're not going to make it. I rather really, you resist, but don't resist with your, you know, with the flesh. I rather really, you protest, but not do the looting, not the, the burning, the, 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 and trying to kill them and throw rocks at them. Yeah. I think you'll yeah. be more effective. And we talked last week, Robert, uh, we, we, we mentioned George Floyd, and, and the fact is that in George Floyd, he was completely subdued. Uh -huh. He was in complete compliance. And that shook America of the death of someone in compliance. Uh -huh. The enemy had a problem because you can't get your way, wiggle your way out of this. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? It's going to uh -huh. go to the court. And when it goes to the court, it's going to, those trials are going to sit there and say, you know, they're going to try to say, well, the man was, uh, he was not complying. He wouldn't get into the car, you know, so we had to, we had to take some measures. And they're going to sit there and say, I'm talking eight minutes here. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm not concerned about what happened before you, you call yourself trying to get that man in the car. Uh -huh. But even when, matter of fact, if I, I would not go, I can bring that up. In fact, is I know that he was handcuffed under your control, 
prior to him even trying to get him to the car. We saw you took him, handcuffed him, put, sent him on the floor, sent him on the, against the wall. So, so you, you won't fear for your life. And right. You, you know, so, so, once you got him in control, why eight minutes, 40 Would seconds of on that man's neck? Yeah. What, what, my fact, you know, he was dead for two minutes while you still had your knee on his neck. <laughs> so, so it, it, the, the death of the man changed and echoed throughout the world. Who else death echoed throughout the world? Jesus. I submit to you, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yep. And, and I submit to you that when Jesus, now he laid down his life. We talked about it, Robert, last, and Sunday we were talking about it. John, when they came to get him in the Garden of Gethsemane. Uh, and John, John, I like Elder, because I think that was just showing that, showing that he had his divinity, he had his uh, anointing with him. They asked, who do you, Jesus said, who are you seeking? We live with Jesus in Nazareth. I am he. He fell mm -hmm. out. Yep. Mm. He fell out. John just wanted to show people, oh look, this 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 is definitely not mm -hmm. uh, their power. <laughs> mm -hmm. This this is definitely not their mm -hmm. ability. This this is this is something willfully laying down for all of us. But I wanted to show you that if there was any question that the that the evil had total control. He was showing no, they didn't. But mm -hmm. after what I'm saying is he went to complete compliance. He said there and say, I told you I'm he. Let these people go and let's, you know, do go your ahead. thing. Yes, right. Go ahead and do what you came to do. Do yes. your thing. We, we put in that one. That's also a John, I think, when Peter sit there and pull that sword out, right? <laughs> Peter, Peter, Peter went, <laughs> Elder, Peter went in the flesh. That's Peter, it. Peter, Peter took that, that sword and cut that joker's ear off. Now, I don't know why he cut the black man's ear off, because I think they said it was black. Balkus, Balkus, <laughs> he looked. He didn't cut the ear off of somebody with a sword in his hand. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think Malchus had a sword in his hand. I know those Roman soldiers had swords and, and shields, right? <laughs> <laughs> but that's irrelevant. The fact is that Peter, was responding to the way you go into the flesh. Yep. Yeah. Well, Peter had always responded to the flesh. Right. Peter, 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 we call Peter cursing Peter, right? That's Peter, right. Peter, yeah. Peter curse you out in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but, not only that, but fight. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And, and, and what, what hey, Albert, if you take a look at that based on that scripture, what you did was there was an alternative even in the garden. Uh -huh. Trying to be to go in the flesh, physical, uh -huh. or, or or stay in the spirit and, and, and be the compliance part of it. You know what I mean? Yep. yep. There you go. So 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 I, I thought that was I, I, I but I still said he still made an impact. He and, did. And he Jesus did. way. Jesus could the, the the title I'm saying is Jesus the way, meaning his method is the way in defeating social injustice. It's, right. it's not right. through violence, because violence only gets violence. It's, That's it's, right. It's, but it's not being so, and I, oh, my fact, Elder, I want to say, Robert, check this out. I think one of the problem is that the traditional church has painted a picture that we're not uh, activists. We're not, we don't, we don't, address the social norms we we play the bringing in the sheen <laughs> we're so deep yeah we ain't gonna you know we just gonna we just gonna take it and 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 elder robert J jesus talked back to the pharisees he talked back to authority you know he yeah, said he and, and called a, he called a spade a spade when it's time to call a spade he went, when he went into the temple, 
when he yep. saw those people sit there selling stuff in the temple. He said, oh, y'all got to get out of here. <laughs> you, he didn't he that that court out and he sat there, he whipped all those people out of there. <laughs> he said, no, but, but, no, no, this, this is supposed to be the house of prayer. There we you know? go. This is the house of prayer. Y'all sitting there, the maid is a den of thieves, and I'm not going to accept that. That is not acceptable in the eyes of God. So <laughs> Christians are not, and I think I'm saying this, I'm saying this, that people have tried to, uh, to me, and, and I don't know about you guys, but it, a portrayal of how we may conduct ourselves thinking it's so passive that we don't do anything. And I think Martin Luther King was a good example because that was that that movement originated out of the church, out of the Southern District, Southern Christian Conference or something like that, right? That, yeah. that movement came from a church congregation. Or, yeah, or it did. It did. Yeah. Uh, in fact, and, and I think Elder, he says a lot, but I don't think we ever translate into a movement, but it's, the church is a vehicle for social change. If the church just the only, operates from that perspective. The and, ultimate vehicle for so, social change. Huh? It's the ultimate vehicle for social change because at the end of the day, it is going to be the society. It is. We are, we are literally at, at odds and at, I say war, there's a certain type of warfare that's occurring between the kingdom of God and the kingdoms of the world. All the kingdoms of this world. And they will be brought into submission to the kingdom of God. That is the, that's the, the bottom line. The thing that I was looking at was, I remember the scripture where Jesus was talking to the, the, the brothers. Yeah, P. Lee's here. We got Bishop. We got Bishop here. Bishop, yeah. Bishop, you're in the house. Hey, Bishop. Yes, sir. Hey, sir. I'm glad you showed up because we, we needed you last Sunday anyway. Uh, we was talking about the fact is that the church uh, if we do it Jesus' way, the topic I had in here, uh, let me show it to you so you can catch up. We, we use, we start off with uh, 1 Peter chapter uh, 4, and, and we, we read all the way to verse 19. Uh, and, 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 and like I said, the title is really called Jesus' Way to Defeat Social Injustice. And, and last week, we were really getting into the part about do we do it and it, like my mother's king did a nonviolent way uh, to go after social injustice we talked about the fact is that uh when you do it when you operate in the fruits of the spirit uh the those who practice injustice their ugliness is revealed really tenfold but you got one group is not fighting it the back in civil rights movement uh while you got the other group is doing all the ugliness, the dogs, the, 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 the uh, you know, the clubbing and, and the smoke and, and, and the rubber bullets and everything else, uh, the bombing of uh, the uh, school, I mean the church where the four kids died. And we were saying is that even Jesus, when, when he walked this earth, he was, he didn't, he didn't move in the flesh, he operated in the spirit. He didn't, he didn't sit there and uh, try to, uh, uh, advocate violence, even though the the disciples and even Judas and some of the other people, the zealots, they were looking for a king to come in to restore Jerusalem in his cardinal, really, in his cardinal level. Oh, uh, yeah. So when we use uh, First Peter uh, chapter four to twelve, one of the things we was trying to get out of that is verse fifteen it said, but. Let none of you suffer as murderers, or as thieves, or as evildoers, or as busy about body in other men's matter. In other words, we, we, we shouldn't suffer based on doing the, the evil way, uh, and, or he being an evildoer. And I said, we told him, Elder, I mean, Bishop, we said that even in a lot of cases, uh, Jesus was the Pharisees trying to paint his image as an evildoer, as a sinner, right? In other words, the way society operates is I got to paint you, I got to put you in that category of 15 to discredit who you are. And 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 that's why we have to sit there and say, do it God's way opposed to uh, the world's way. And that's why we read in uh, First 
Peter chapter 4, where it said, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery tri trials, which is to try you as though some strange things happen unto you. And we wanted to make sure people understand that even though we're going to do it God's way, if you want to make social change, you want to do things, and we're saying the church is not a, a, a religious institution that's so passive and so spiritual deep, it doesn't make a difference in society. It does make a difference, and it can make a difference, just like Martin Luther King movement was. But we didn't understand, though, that even if we do it God's way, we're going to find these strange, fiery trials <laughs> that's going to come against us. But we still was not moving further in that fact 13, but rejoice in the much as you are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. And if you be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are you for the spirit, I like that, hey elder, if you are reproached doing God's way, it said right there that the spirit and the glory of God rests upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Verse 16, yet if any man suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. And I think that's one of the things why some of them said fight or flight, Bishop, is the fact is that they feel like they get beat up on without fighting back is, is, is making them feel ashamed. And, but and you, to be able to, to stand and, and let injustice, well, I mean, you, you really got too much choice sometimes, I'm thinking about it, because if, if, if they, the way they attack it nowadays, Bishop, they just, four or five of them jump on you, beat you with sticks, just like they did Rodney King. They try to overwhelm you to take control of you. But some of the people feel like they should fight back, but and they probably feel ashamed. But if you're a Christian and you comply and you let the enemy, if the enemy does what he's going to do, let him do what he's going to do. But you're showing the right standards is what I was trying to show on that one. So I, I, that's where we at. And, and I think when we, when we look at the two kingdoms, the kingdoms of this world and the kingdoms of God, when Jesus said that the, the rulers of this world lord over each other, they use force to subdue. Uh -huh. The kingdom of the kingdom of God uses force to uplift and to edify. So we're watching the application of power just, I, I think you call it diametrically opposing each other. The kingdom yeah. is stacked differently. The kingdom of God is stacked differently than the kingdom of this world. Right. So what we have seen is governments rise and governments fall in accordance with the amount of strength that they can exercise over another person. Come on now. This is a ongoing process in the world system. No kingdom survives because another kingdom always rises up strong than it is and subdues it. So you're seeing kingdoms rise and fall in accordance with the way that they apply their power. That's right. why the world system doesn't work. Right. It doesn't work. And, and, and what, what, I, what I wanted to bring out, Elder, was the fact is that Jesus' way. Yes. Was was changed the whole world because we're talking about oh, this is 2020, and and what I elder, if you can read that for for Bishop for me is the verse John from nine, verse 15 to 17, and emphasize 17 when you get there. I got no display. Oh, I'm sorry. I got a. I didn't share it, did I? <laughs> okay, it says. For the time, 17? Yeah. It's a, it's a John chapter Okay, nine. John. Yeah. Then again, the Pharisees also asked him how he, I'm sorry, how he had received his sight. Uh -huh. He said to them, he put clay up on my eyes, and I watch, and I do see. Therefore, said some of the Pharisees, this man is not a God, because he keepeth not the Sabbath. Others said, how can a man that is a sinner do such a miracle? Come out. Come out. There was a division among them. Uh huh. They said unto the blind man again, What said thou him that he has opened thine eyes? He said, He's a prophet. He's a prophet. Look, look at the fact, and I want to emphasize the fact is that the man, Jesus, did a good thing, but the system, they called itself being in charge. They, they, they couldn't reconcile the, the miracle. 
himself. And you see, they labeled him the way that scripture, when you, when you read first four, chapter four, don't let us be named as a murderer or an evildoer, right. right? Look, you see what they did here in this verse, even though a miracle occurred, they sit there and say, how, 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 how can a man, Bishop, <laughs> how, how, Ella, how, how can a man that is a sinner do such miracles? Yep. 